Thank you. Sorry about that. Well, let's do that again. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Good to have you on the program this morning. Um, and I hope you all slept really well. Welcome to Reclamation Day. At least for many people, it's Reclamation Day. But for, uh, for you and I, yesterday was Reclamation Day. Uh, and I don't, we still don't really know why. I don't think Bethesda announced it or anything, but, uh, when we went to log in yesterday, we had access early. Today was supposed to be the launch of the game this, this morning at midnight, but we did an entire six hour live stream yesterday and, uh, it advanced my character quite a bit and we had a really good time. So <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure what happened there, but anyway, I promised yesterday that I would sit down and do another live stream today, so here we are. We're going to be doing another live stream, probably going to be around the same length, about six hours. Um, if you go and you're watching my replay of the live stream from yesterday, you'll notice that it was split into two halves, and that's because YouTube had some sort of weird glitch where they just canceled my stream in the middle of my broadcast. I was still online playing. I was still recording locally. It was a really weird bug. So uh, I had to stop broadcasting and then start broadcasting again. The second half of the broadcast was longer than four hours, and for some reason YouTube has this weird glitch where the first couple hours, uh, uh, where if, if a video is longer than four hours, if a live stream is longer than four hours, it can take them up to 24 hours to process the video. So I'm going to experiment with something today to try and get around that. We'll, uh, we'll split this broadcast up into four-hour segments, so I've got a timer going off here, and after the four-hour mark, we'll stop the broadcast briefly for about a minute and then restart the broadcast just so that YouTube doesn't have any weird uh, um, rendering and processing thing things doing. Andrew says, Ox do an all-nighter. Man, I don't know. I, th I, I was really tempted to do an all-nighter after last night because we had so much fun in the tunnels in particular. Man, that was such a great time. I really can't wait to do my video on that. But, you know, the kids, I... We, they had, they had got, they had been home from school for over an hour by that time. I had to, you know, give them hugs and kisses. And then I had a nice family dinner. So I really enjoyed my evening last night. That's one of the things that's really weird about doing more live streams now is I'm finding myself with more time. Pardon me, because when it comes to a lore video, um, it can take eight, nine, 10, 12, 14 hours to finish a lore video, depending on how long it is. Like my LA Noir episodes, Especially if it's a 90-minute episode, as some of them are, it can take me most of the day to finish. But uh, with the live stream, then, and what I'm just realizing is you, you just press record, and when you finish the broadcast, you're done for the day. You can kind of get up and go, which is a weird feeling for me. Usually, it, it takes up my entire day to do the, the lower video. So that was nice. I had a really nice time last night. But anyway, we're going to be doing some live broadcasts all this week. Uh, just because the game is new, it's fresh in people's minds, and uh, we're experiencing it for the first time. Uh, and then the week, uh, next week, we're going to start churning this content that I've been recording into lore videos. Uh, I still will do live streams, but I'm going to have a more balanced schedule so that it's not all live streams. <clears throat> um, for a number of reasons. For one, I'm running out of hard drive space. <laughs> I've been recording everything. I've got 35, what, now 40 some odd hours of footage recorded in HD on my hard drive that I got to sift through and produce content for. And uh, another reason is this game. Hey, the Fallout 76 Survival Guide. Finally, I will be able to go through and let me tell you a good 15% of this book is just dedicated to quests. Uh, the most, the majority of this book is dedicated to the Atlas, just uh, giving you maps of every single location and a legend where every loot, static loot piece is in that particular map. Which is great, because this is going to help me realize whether or not I missed terminals, if I missed notes, where I can finally find a key, like at uh, Sugar Grove. <laughs> Vladimir says, Hi Ox, love your streams. Thank you very much, Vladimir. Great to have you on the program. Thanks very much for the, the tip. So this just arrived this morning. Uh, I really hope I didn't miss a lot in my pre previous lore videos, but I'm going to sift through this, find everything I missed, and then publish a video on anything that I missed uh, in the near in the near future. Andy J says, when is the next L.A. Noir video coming out? It will come out, but you know what? Um, give me time. This is brand new. This game is brand new. Kind of want to wrap my head around it, get to understand it, and then work it into my production schedule, uh, whereupon it will join the cast of wonderful games that I produce content for on this channel. 
Uh, <clears throat> no cigar right now. It's a little early. Maybe I'll light up a cigar in a couple hours or so. But let's get into the game. And uh, I did a little bit of gaming last night without you. I know, sorry, I should have brought you with me. But I, I just wanted to do some boring inventory management stuff. And so I, I'll show you what I did. Okay, let's turn the volume back up. And move the microphone over to my mouth. No cigar, says Wheel Merc. Yeah, not right now. It's a little early. You know, I smoked two last night, and uh, I, I enjoyed them, but it's still morning for me. I'm, I'm still sipping on my cup of coffee. It's not really cigar time for me. Okay. So, a couple of things to go over. Last night, after dinner, and after I put the kids to bed, I played for maybe... Ooh. Whoa. Uh oh what is that? Oh. I played for maybe uh, 10 minutes. Ooh, let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, it's already triggered, huh? Can you only do one? I triggered it yesterday. Anyway, I played for about 15 minutes. Wow, that is really weird. I don't remember that from yesterday. And uh, this is what I did. I uh, put up my defenses. So I worked on my shack a little bit. I built this. Uh, back here. I have to say I'm, I'm not feeling the settlement building in this game and only because of its uh, I mean, it's less flexible than the Fallout 4 settlement build system. For example You see this staircase? I wanted to move it to the other side over here, but I can't And the reason even though it's green and it snaps is because you cannot move the item, part of the structure would not be accessible. And I understand why they're doing that. They don't want you to accidentally lock yourself out of your structure. But, I mean, I am a, a grown-up, and I can always rebuild a new ladder, and this is making it more difficult for me to build my camp. I wanted to be able to close, and, and I'm kind of held hostage here. Like, I've got this open side to my shack. I can't do anything here. I wanted to put a door frame here, but the door frame doesn't, won't snap. Oh, am I really out of wood? Wow, I used all my wood. Looks like I gotta collect more wood. Anyway, uh, even if it, even if I had the wood, it doesn't snap here because the staircase is in the way. Oddly enough, if I were to put the door frame first, here, I'll just use this one. See, it doesn't snap because the staircase is in the way. Oddly enough, if I were to put the door frame first, I could then snap the staircase to the platform. That's an issue in and of itself. But because I can't remove this, I therefore can't build a wall. And I can't remove this, this foundation. For the same reason, can't remove item. Part of the structure would not be available. Ah, oh, so frustrating. Anyway, I worked on that. But uh, I've got my defenses set up, right? I put some turrets around the perimeter, and, you know, it's a simple little shack, but it's good to go. Dayton says, are there factions you can join in 76? Yes, well, there are factions that you can pick up the mantle for in Fallout 76. Um, okay, so here's the second thing. Right when I logged in... Okay, so, if you recall from my last stream, we, we, uh, my stream yesterday was really intense. We went through a lot. We leveled up a lot. I got a full suit of T-45 power armor. We had the opportunity to build some excavator power armor only to discover the, that the T-45 was better, except for radiation resistance. I need to drink. And when we came out, the, uh... There we go. Do I have a... Do I have a... Ooh, cranberry cobbler. Don't mind if I do. When we came out the tunnel over here, the first thing we heard was a silo code beeping. R Rookie Granddad says, glad you're streaming, Ox. As my game never uh, turned up from Amazon. Yeah, I feel sorry for those of you who ordered physical copies instead of uh, digital copies because... Sadly, they did not deliver a digital copy along with your physical copy, so you have to wait on the snail mail system of the United States of America to get your copy. I'm really sorry about that, everyone. 
wish there was something we could do about that. Anyway, when we came out of that tunnel over there, we found a guy with a silo code. Then, when I logged in this morning, the first thing I noticed is that there was a guy with a silo code, and so I quickly killed him just because, you know, I wanted to get the code. There he is, a scorched officer with one of the silo codes. So now I should have three of those codes. Uh, let's see. Is it a holotape? I'm trying to remember where does it arrive did I already fly by it anyway I'm not sure why I don't see it now is it in junk no. notes Yeah, yeah, silo, here we go. The silo, uh, the silo codes. I picked up another silo alpha code piece. And now I, oh no, the, the, these two were from yesterday. This is the one I just picked up, silo bravo, bravo code piece. Uh, anyway, so um, yeah, what, but, but the important thing about this, the thing that makes this interesting is that we found two silo codes in the same area, which means that the silo codes are scripted. I mean, unless that was coincidence, it means that there are certain NPCs who are who are programmed to spawn at certain locations in the game to have silo codes, which means we can farm them. Okay. Then, there's one more thing I want to show you that I missed when I came through here yesterday, and so I'll show it to you now. Um... This is another thing I discovered last night. There was a secret stash over here at the train station with some gear inside. And I want to show you where it was. Just a second, gotta get through these guys. Alright. I think that's it. Nope. without my power armor. Okay. Uh, so this. Someone had taken one of these little uh, transport containers and turned it into a cargo hold. And I found some decent stuff in here. Connor Laflame with a tip. Thank you very much, Connor. And then... Hold on. Rookie Granddad says, Glad you're streaming, Ox. Oh, I read that one already. Okay, anyway, here we are. And uh, it came with a missile launcher. Missiles down here. Oh, and it looks like they're not responding for me because I took them yesterday. But there was a, uh, a level 35. Oh, the, the ammunition respond. There was a, lo a level 35 combat sniper rifle. So, uh, I'm going to be able to upgrade to that when I get to that point. All right, no sense in letting this go to waste since we do have a weapons workbench right here. Let's go ahead and loot, loot up. Wolfie says, on your map south of the Overseer's Camp is a pick of a rooster. At this spot is a fun location you might like to see. It's a treetop obstacle course. That sounds fun. Yeah. 
And man, these guys are really uh, <clears throat> doing a good job of carrying weapons that are at my level because I'm going to be able to scrap them for mods. I did a ton of uh, inventory management when I logged on yesterday. I dropped half of my rad axe. I dropped half of my rad away. And I realized that that was what was really encumbering me. I mean, I did as much scrapping and, and um, other inventory management as I possibly could. But it was the aid that was holding me, holding me back. Okay, let's go deposit this and then continue on our way. Adam says, Hey, Ox, I just wanted to say thank you for all you do. Fun fact, did you know a large whiskey bottle on Fallout New Vegas says scotch on it? Yeah. I actually had a, a, a conversation with someone on one of my streams about that. I didn't realize that there was no scotch in Fallout 4. Because I just assumed that if it was in Fallout New Vegas, it was also in Fallout 4. No, he was right about that. I also realized when trying to sell my bulk scrap that uh, the vendors uh, have limited ca caps and they're all connected. So when you sell everything to one vendor, the other vendors don't restock for a while. Ace says, I read that if you bulk ammo, you can sell it to vendors. And I could be wrong, but I think the vendor in church where you get all of those responder quests has caps. Hope this helps. Thanks, Ace. Yeah, that's uh, right to my point. Uh, he's connected to all of the other vendors. So if you sell everything you have to him and exhaust his 200, 300 caps or whatever, that's it. You're done. I mean, you can't, for, for 24 hours, none of the other vendors are going to have anything left for you. And then I did ah. this. So you saw this from the other day. This is my character spec. And then what I did is I put everything by level. So I know exactly which perk and which special point to spec into when I hit that level. It's going to make specializing my character. I'm going to save a lot of time doing it. And then additionally, since I didn't have this all figured out when I started my character, I missed a lot of stuff. And so after I hit level 50, I'm going to have to do all of this. Uh, you will continue to get perk cards after level 50. Now, to decide what we're going to do today. I had thought about continuing with the, the main quest, but I'm, pers I'm just honestly having a lot of fun not doing that. I'm having a lot of fun doing all of the side quests. And then I remembered that, remember we, when we went to the Nuka-Cola plant, we found that, uh, that um, what was it, the dispenser outside that had the maps? Well, we, we could go pick that up now. We've, I purchased a map from a U-Minute machine leading to a nearby prospecting site. I should proceed to the site to discover if my purchase was worthwhile. Find and excavate the dig site at Mount Blair, at the Ash Heap. So there are two sites at the Ash, ash Heap. Maybe this will give me the black titanium I need for my excavator suit. Galaxy Lord says, hey, Oxhorn, I loved your vault videos. Um, just wanted to say keep up the good work. Oxhorn is the beast. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Oh, let's, uh, let's scrap that robot armor we got. Yeah, I don't want any power armor related glitches today, so let's just try this again. <sighs> okay, we should not be encumbered. Great. Yeah, I really worked hard to reduce my encumbrance. So, let's uh, let's try one of the lucky strikes. We've got 3 
Those are the two at the ash heap. We're way over here. Well, there is that quest to reach the mayor's office. That sounds fun, too. Let's do that. Let's do these lucky strikes first. So the ash heap's over here. Where's the other one? What? Oh, over there. Find the excavator site at Mount Blair. Gosh, that's way, way over there. And we wanted to get into the Hornwright Estate. And I believe I have a quest for that. Let's see. Grafton Mayor, Minor Miracles, Tentative Plans. Explore the Hornwright Industrial HQ. Which is right there. So, we've got a lot to do. But do we go and do all of that, or do we go right to the mayor? Well, my camp is right here. We can do the mayor at any time. Let's do one of the lucky strikes, just to see what it is. And then and then we'll go and, and go to Hornwright Industries. Uh, thankfully, we've got a fast travel icon right there. Fro Fro says, Hey, Oxhorn, are there legendary enemies? And if yes, how are they marked? Uh, I believe so. Uh, I've get, I, we have gotten legendary items off of enemies before, and every now and then we'll find an enemy that's super high level compared to our, our level. And I believe that is uh, depicted with a crown. I think they have a crown. So we need to go south over these mountains to this big thing. Chris Kelly says, hey, Oxhorn, keep up the great work. Love your vids. <clears throat> Thank you very much. I dumped all ammunition that I wasn't using. I was really aggressive with my, with trying to unload. Let's see, what's this? Dead end. Bethesda, are you trying to tell me something? I just want to climb this mountain. Will I be able to climb this mountain? Let's see. No, that is a sheer rock wall. But I'm almost there. Maybe I can skirt around. Crown is an area's leaders or boss. Legendary says legendary. Okay, thank you for the clarification. Well, we're right about to go over a location here. Find and excavate the dig site at Mount Blair. Is this Mount Blair? Right here? No, it's abandoned mine <laughs> could have been much more stealthy about that. Goodness gracious. Combat shotgun, miner suit scrap, mine suit breather. I wonder if that has black titanium. Kerwood mine key. What? Mine 
mind suit breather. What's scrap? Honestly, is short on wood. Is there another one around here? Screws are the big thing that I need now. I'm, I'm limited on, on almost everything I can do by not having enough screws. So let's see if we can pick up some screws. While you have log says, man, another great stream. Glad to watch. I'm glad you're here. Another drill. I wasn't terribly impressed by the drill. Nice low level weapon, maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm being very picky now. I know that many of your your uh, hoarder instincts are gonna, ah, see, I didn't even want to take that psycho, are gonna kick in. I dropped all my cannons, I just got rid of them. And, and you're you're gonna want me to say, uh, to pick that, that up and loot that, but you know what, I, I just don't want to be encumbered, so I'm going to be very picky. All right, let's scrap up while we're here. Brandon says, hey, Alex, been a fan since Warcraft days. Did you get that T-45 bust? Can I get a, can you get a full cosplay suit of that kind of money piece? Can you say Raffle Mao? Yes, indeed, Raffle Mao. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> we'll see. I wonder if we got any of that black titanium from that stuff. Yeah, black titanium scrap, sweet. Well, you want the black ti uh, titanium for your excavator power armor, this is the place to go. Uh, all right, let's head out the back here. We're on a mission, we gotta find that site. Oh man, am I gonna get another fusion core? <laughs> another three pound fusion core. All right, well, we got a key to some sort of mine. Explore the Hornwright Industrial HQ. Open the miner's locker in Kerwood Mine. Ah! Well, let's turn this off for now. Open the miner's locker in Kerwood Mine? Where is that? Way over here. So I got a key for a mine way over there. <laughs> this is the way the game works. I go to one place for one thing, and then I end up doing a whole bunch of other things. Okay, well, let's let's stay focused. Let's turn this off, and then we can do all of those little things in a bit. Right now, let's just follow Lucky Strike. And we're going the completely wrong direction. No, no, we are. We're going the right direction. We just need to go south. So it's over that hillside. Where exactly would I find this excavator power armor? Um... You'll need 32 blank titanium to build it. Yeah, I've only got about 16, so I certainly don't have enough. But uh, we discovered that in yesterday's video. Uh, so we t we completely explored the Garam Mining Company. That's where we we unlocked the plans for it. We don't actually find the armor there. We have to build it ourselves. So after discovering the plans, we now have to go on a crafting supplies and materials mission. Hello, looks like we got some Scorch to deal with. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I, I unlocked a bunch of mods for my combat rifle here, uh, as well as getting a higher level one, but I can't use any of them just because I don't have screws. It's all about the screws. Okay, this is broken. Oh, no. We can't get up this way. We could if we had a jetpack. Not yet. Caution falling rocks. I bet we can skirt this edge, this ledge over here. Have you encountered another player yet? Not today, but in my past live streams, I have indeed count encountered players. And Counter says, hello, Oxhorn. Love your lore videos and your current streams. It would be an honor and a great privilege to encounter you one day in the Virginia forests. Well, my friend, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you very much for your generosity. And it would be an honor, honor indeed. Uh, I haven't uh, come across any viewers during my live streams yet, and I'm, I'm not exactly sure how you would. Uh, I think, you know, these are instanced servers, so... I mean, aside from just grouping up. Alright, we got some sort of building up here. I wonder what that is. Man, so much mining! Well, I guess that makes sense. I mean, if, if mining is a big part of West Virginian industry, we, we, uh, we would find a lot of mining plants. Is it? Oh, claim workshop at Mount Blair. Clear the enemies of Mount Blair. Oh, this is a workshop? Find and excavate the site at Mount Blair. Looks like someone has built a settlement here. I think. Yeah, someone's camp is here. See, what do we got here? H E A L E D H E A L E D H E A L E D There we go. Aluminum. Fly. Horizon Skyways. Oh, that's a very familiar airplane wreckage. At least it should be for, for all of us Fallout 4 players. Blasting caps. Sarah says you should go, you should do signal strength. It's hilarious, lore worthy, and necessary to proceed with the, the responders. Love the videos, by the way. Keep it up. Thanks, Sarah. That's a good suggestion. AC Animation says, Hello, Axon. You're the reason I love Fallout and the reason I write stories. I want to thank you for everything you've done, and I hope you continue to make amazing content for years to come. Well, I sure hope I will be able to as well. Check it out. I am not having problems with fusion cores. And I'm not using that ammunition type anymore, so I'm not going to worry about it. Thank you very much for the generous donation. Oh. So Mount Blair, this is a major location, huh? So I probably didn't need to spend money on those lucky strike things. <laughs> Stim pack, search the tray. Medex, that's one chem I am planning to use. So I need to go south. It's just over the hill here. Right over here. Oh, now I'm right on top of it. I don't know 
know if I want to claim a workshop to do this excavating right now. Though it is fascinating to look at. Let's let's head deeper just to see what we get. So it looks like there's some scaffolding over there that would allow us to get up up onto the drill. Or we can walk up there. Oh, let's do the drill. That's going to be much more majestic. Let's take a look at this uh, saw. Wow, look at this thing. Moo I wonder what they were mining for. Are there any pockets of ore down here, like black titanium, that we can harvest ourselves? sort of horrible jets coming out of this hole. Fumes rising. Let's walk up this pile of rubble if we can. All right, well, we might as well uh, turn on the challenge we got. If I clear the enemies that are infesting Mount Blair, the workshop is mine for the taking. All right, might as well. Since I'm here. Born Right Industries. Oh! This is one of the big machines that Hornwright Industries was using. I see. I now I now see why uh, the Garam uh, the Graham Mining Company lost. Because this is just intense. Oh. Let's see if we can. Uh, no, I don't want to worry about that right now. Let's head down here to the saw blade. Oh no! That's what I get for looking at Chad. <laughs> okay. What have we here? We've got a body. Ooh, and the noise this thing is making, it's creaking and groaning, almost as if it's still under pressure. The one that looks like this one says, if I ever decide to get this game and I happen to find you in it, Oxhorn, I'm gonna act like an NPC companion and act oblivious when being shot at. Why would I shoot at you? I wouldn't shoot at you. Man, look at that Hornwright logo. Oh, this rivalry between the two companies is great. Well, how many people, how many enemies do I have to kill to gain access to this workshop? Wait, I, I'm red. Is there another one?
Is it the scorched and the mole men? Mole miner. So that goes down. This goes up. We can explore down first. Let's turn off this radio just in case. Crossbow bolt. Oh, I don't need the 44 ammunition. I'll drop that later. I really don't need the crossbow bone, but it looks so cool. Okay, so human skeletons up here. All right, let's go down just to make sure we didn't miss anything. So that goes down to the way we came. This is if we would have come the other way. And then we can pick off any enemies we find down here. Or they can pick us up. Oh, hello. Oh, the noises they make. Oh, the noises. <laughs> Miner suit scrap. I believe that's what gives us the black titanium. Okay. We ran down there really quickly. Come on, it's only level two. Okay, so we have a couple of paths. We can go this way, which I believe leads to a door. Leads to the other end, or we can go down here, which I believe leads inside. Let's go down here really quickly. I did see a door over here. Oh, and then a path that leads down. Let's go down first. Make sure we clear this area. right below me, isn't he? Nope. This is just sprawling. Ah. Oh, need a drink. Let's go up. Way different technology <laughs> than what uh, Garam was using. I hear something. Uh, let's see if we could turn off this radio. Where's the radio coming from? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is the radio coming from? Where is the radio coming from? Gotta turn this off before I go any further. It's coming from over here. All right, it's in this room. Let's, there it is. Turn that off. Avoid demonetization. Okay, now let's scrap our junk and scrap the weapons we don't need. Yeah, we got black titanium from one of the junk pieces. So that means we didn't get black titanium from the mole miner gauntlet. So we don't need to loot those anymore. Holy combat shotgun mods, bad man. All right, what's down here? So this was the operator's, like a, like a crane lift. Ooh, Buck Nixon's Rock Hound Holotape. Oh, this bug is driving me crazy. All right, Buck Nixon's Rock Hound Holotape. Oh boy, <laughs> well, I'm 
damn glad that headquarters upgraded the Rock Hound's power system. Now that we have reactors installed, we can finally stop depending on the local power grid and diesel engines to keep this baby humming. I can't even count the number of times the machines stall because of blackouts or the engines quit. Of course, working right next to four nuclear reactors isn't as cozy as it sounds. <laughs> but the engineers say those things are perfectly safe, but they aren't the ones that'll be vaporized after a meltdown. <laughs> Still, those uh, fat bonuses I've been getting on my paycheck are hard to ignore, so looks like I'll be staying for a while. <laughs> Anyway, uh, it's almost time for me to change out the ignition cores. I'll record more later, if I have the time. Ignition cores? Oh, Alright, so hold on a minute. Let me take a look at my junk. How many screws do I have? Uh, screws are just... Oh, loose screws! Five. I've only gotten five screws from everything I've scrapped so far. I need like 30 to make my excavation power armor. And my black titanium scrap, seven! Okay, I need, what, 36? To, uh, to do this. All right, push the button. What happens? The button isn't functioning. Check the terminal. Rockhound Terminal 6. Rockhound Terminal 6 system status. Reactor technology. Warning, you are not authorized. Not an authorized owner of the Mount Blair facility. If you believe you're receiving this message in error, please speak to your maintenance shift supervisor or contact maintenance. Standard bulletin from Mary Blake... Subject, sample welcome package message. Congratulations on your purchase of the Hornwright Industrial Exec 97 Rockhound Bucket Wheel Excavator Unit. On behalf of everyone here at Hornwright, we'd like to welcome you to the tantalizingly lucrative world of strip mining. Oh no! Your Rockhound is rated to move over 11,000 cubic meters of earth per hour and can op operate with a crew of only 12. Each of the buckets on the massive cutting wheel are cast from solid black titanium, ensuring every cut will remain accurate and deep. If you have any questions, feel free to call our Rockhound technical team 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Happy hunting! Daniel Hornwright, CEO Industrial. Uh, Hornwright Industrial. Alright, technical bulletin. Blah, blah, blah. From Don Mobley, Lead Tech Hornwright Industrial, Severity Green, reports are surfacing that properly calibrated ignition cores are draining in 3 minutes. As a result, all reactors need to be adjusted from 2200 MWE to, to 1750 MWE. This will allow the ignition cores to remain in operation for a longer amount of time before replacement is required. We are working hard to increase efficiency, so please stay tuned. From Dawn again, Severity Red. We've had an emergency set shutdown today on the Rockhound due to hydraulic fluid loss in the main drive shaft. We've traced the leak to some faulty seals on the main fluid reservoir, and a standard safety check should have detected this issue before it became critical. There was over 6,000 gallons of fluid soaking into the ground, which no one on this Mount Blair team seemed to notice. Thank you, Johan Santi. Appreciate the tip. This is unacceptable. Seal replacement and tank... Refill should take approximately two days to fix. We'll be deducting downtime losses from your paychecks. Ooh. And in the final one, again from Don Mulby, Severity Orange, due to increasing demand from headquarters, we're adding a third shift, 11 to 7 a.m. Oh, no! Full 24-hour operation of the Rockhound requires that the wheel buckets get changed every three days. Please adjust your schedules accordingly. Failure to comply will result in... Termination, immediate termination, as per Hornwright employee agreement. Ooh. Slave drivers. All right, um, let's head this way first. All right, so it just loops around. Oh, and this goes outside. Are these the last few guys I need to kill?
Okay, it looks like there are a few more out there I need to kill. Two more that way. Where does this go, though? Let's go back inside and see if we can finish exploring this. What is... What is this? Some sort of beeping. Let's try it. No dice. Boiled water, shopping cart. Ooh. Is I wonder if that that beeping can't be a silo code, can it? It's gotta be some machinery. Lots of lead. I don't need that though. I've, I've got plenty of lead. For some reason I'm getting plenty of lead, even though I don't have it um tagged. Track it. So this is where the poor miners slept. 12-man crew to operate this machine. This is their galley and bunk room. Look at this. This is where they ate, and these little closets is where they slept. Oh, my gosh. Justin Ribeiro says the key card for Hornwright's Estates is in, the Char is in Charleston. Their HQ is based there. I already cleared it and found the key card. Thank you, Justin. Maybe we'll check that out. It's in Charleston, you say? Wait a minute. Explore Hornwright Industrials HQ. Right, in Charleston. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Great, thank you. So we'll we'll do that later. Right now we wanted to... Let's finish this Mount Blair thing, because this is another... This is a great tie-in, though. I mean, I didn't realize at the time that this was going to be owned by Hornwright Industries, so this is a good tie-in. We can finish exploring this excavator site, then go to Hornwright Industries, and maybe by then, we'll have enough screws and black titanium to make our excavator suit. Fingers crossed, right? We fi For those who are wondering about the Mistress of Mystery, we finished that quest in yesterday's episode, and it was a wonderful quest. Tragic, but wonderful. Oh, this is one of the reactors we heard about. Is that what's still beeping? Why does it say danger? Why am I on danger? And this is where I came in. Okay, so that's it for this middle level. It's gotta be something above us. Let's go up. Because we haven't done that. And maybe that's where we'll find the final few mole creatures we need to kill to uh, claim this workshop. Maybe up here. Let's see. I've been here. I didn't go in there though. Well, let's try the back of the machine. Yeah, the beeping is getting stronger. Oh, this is the workshop. Okay. Yeah, I haven't I haven't uh, killed enough enemies yet to claim the workshop. But we can soon rectify that. Ooh, he was quick to dash off. Let's go, buddy. Oh, for Pete's sake! Oh, coming at me with a missile launcher, doggone it! She. Oh, okay, any more? Ah. My shotgun is broken. Ugh. I'm 
so bummed that my shotgun is broken. How did it break so quickly? Double barrel shotgun, no minor gauntlet. I could just use that in the meantime. <laughs> uh, is there, there's got to be a weapons workbench over here somewhere. And there's another enemy I have to kill over there. All right, let's try the end here. Workbench, weapons workbench, please, no. I don't want to deal with carrying around a robot or a chess piece for right now. Okay, so we've got, what, another guy over there? What's your personal favorite weapon to use so far? My, wow, look at this, by the way, just, holy cow, the extent of this excavation site. Right now, my favorite is the lever action rifle. I didn't bring it with me because I don't have any mods for it and I don't have it fully repaired, but it's an amazing weapon, just like it's my favorite weapon to use in Fallout 4. And so, yeah, that would be my answer to that. I recall a tinkerer's workbench, but I don't recall. Maybe if we go up. If we go up, we'll find. It says it's over there. Was that him? Yeah, now it's saying I got some guy over here. Oh, I can claim it now. All right, let's equip my sh uh, one of the shotguns I got because I'm out of a shotgun. I'm gonna need a shotgun. Combat shotgun, power 72. Short double barrel shotgun. Damage 108, whoo -wee. Yeah, but that's about broken. Still, let's, uh, let's do the double barrel shotgun. Spend 25 caps to claim this workshop. Other players may initiate PvP with you by and by attempting to claim it from you. Okay. The workshop at Mount Blair has been claimed by Oxhorn. Woohoo! completed that little quest. We still need to f f excavate the dig site, right? Fiberglass spool, aluminum, plan, small letters set. Learn how to activate the giant excavator. Okay. Let's build something. Um, crafting turrets. Yeah, let's build. This is all coming from our inventory, though, isn't it? And it's only level four. You know, I don't, don't want them all over. I think that's it for now. Let's uh, head upstairs. Actually, since we have it owned, let's go to the control tower. Remember, we found that terminal, and the only thing that was keeping us from excavating with it was that we didn't have it owned, but now we own it. So let's go back down and go to the controls. Reactor technology. Crafting item unlocked, ignition core. Oh, 
Event, defend Mount Blair. Prepare your defenses. Ah! Check the belt on the back for black titanium scrap. Okay, thanks. Your rock on uh, excavators powered by four ignition cores. Uh, ignition reactors that utilize proprietary te technology developed by our research team at Hornwright Industrial. These reactors use an in ignition core refueling system that should ensure an endless supply of energy to keep your operation in business for years to come. Ignition cores can be purchased from our parts department, or you can construct them using the included blueprints that have been uploaded to your data device. So great. Bring the rock hound excavator back to life. I'm about to get attacked though. Event defend Mount Blair. Okay, let's go defend Mount Blair. Then we'll try and bring the rock hound back to life. Four seconds. Who's ready to have their rows kicked? Me? Defeat the robots, wave one. You strikers think you're gonna be brave on your game to come and try. Strike breaker, ha! They're all the way down there. I mean, my defenses are up here. I guess I just wait for them to come on up. Get up here. Nope, they're all on the other side, aren't they? Oh man! Who's left? Are they on the other side?
Looks that way. Heal up. Thank you. Who's ready to have their ass kicked? All right, one more, right? Down there. Bingo. Wave one dealt with. Now to see if we can craft these uh, ignition cores. Okay, uh, quest item, ignition cores. Sweet, how many do I need? Four. Four. That was easy. Why is it not updating? It still says one of four. Ignition core one. Did I do something wrong? hold one at a time? <sighs> what the heck? Why can I only craft one? Okay, well, where do I put the, the ignition core once it's down? Or once I got it? One ignition core. Is it because I've... I've Drop and craft, okay. It, it may be because I've got it in my inventory and there's some sort of bug, that's so weird. Uh, thank you for this suggestion, I'll drop and craft. Hey, come on, let me out of my power armor here. Let me out of my power armor! Thank you. Ah, uh, that was weird, okay, let's drop it. Try crafting again. But now I'm not going to have enough materials because of the bug. Drop it. Yeah, now I'm out of nuclear material. Oh, great. <laughs> Ah, now I gotta find nuclear material. Where do I, I wonder if I can find any here. Maybe if I go up top. Ah, that stupid bug used up too much of my nuclear material. Is there any I missed in here? Let's go up top. Maybe we'll find a blast radius board game or something.
Careful, they can magically leave your inventory. Really? Oh. Okay, let's uh, go to two. It says find or build. Okay, well, I mean, here I am. I'm looking. Plan bathtub. I am here to find. Interesting. I wonder if turrets would be useful up here. Probably not. <clears throat> Let's try going to three. Trills says, you are a high level with power armor capabilities is crazy, even though I play on PlayStation 4 and don't have all day. Anyway, good luck. I mean, I'm only level 27. I'm not exactly super high level yet. I'm only halfway there. Well, here's, uh, here's, the, here's the view. Here's the gorgeous view. Okay, well, we'll have to go down to see if we can find some nuclear material. Or a core. We only need one more. Let's see, how much uh, nuclear material do we need? Jump off, okay. <clears throat> Let's head over here. <clears throat> Got a drink, okay. I suppose I could go back to camp and get some nuclear material. Is there a train station nearby? What's that? Event, the messenger, breach, clear, liberator, horde. Is there a train station? Yeah. Oh, but I haven't discovered that one yet. Lewisburg station. Let's do that. Drop your spoiled food, okay. Can do. Anytime you use you use a crafting bench, it uses both your inventory and your workbench? Are you sure that's true? Maybe you're right. I don't know. Let's head inside. Nuclear waste. Yeah, I don't have a lot of nuclear material on me, do I? Well, I wonder if I can buy some. Don't face the wasteland without the proper supplies. Nope.
Well, I am tracking for it. My best bet is going to go uh, be going back to that station again. Stealth uh, status claimed by Oxhorn Health 100%. Food 9 or 1, water 8. Interesting. Let's see if there's any inside the workstation. That's one thing I didn't check. You only need one nuclear material. Yeah, but uh if they're all if they're all shared like he told me then it, leaving it in my inventory is fine, right? <clears throat> Let's see. Ox, can you take your camps with you? Yes, you can. But I like where it is right now. The alarm clock has nuclear material. Ha <laughs> ha! I think that may be all I need. 38 rounds. Well, let's race back up there to the Tinkerer's workbench and see if that's all we needed. What's this? Did I go back here last time? I don't think I did. Oh, I see. It's like a back door, other way to enter. Don't forget to remove the ignition cores first. Thank you. Yeah, I'll make sure to do that correctly. What a what an annoying bug. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this now. I think we can. Okay, out of the power armor. Dropping the ignition cores. Is it miscellaneous or junk? And uh, crafting ignition cores. No, see it's, I need four nuclear material. Is it not counting, uh, is it not counting items that are not scrapped? Well, I'm not going to waste any more time with this. I'm going to go on with what I wanted to do. And when I find more, <clears throat> when I find more material, I'll uh, come back. When I find more nuclear material, that is. But you had four? I'm confused. Yeah, I'm confused too. This whole thing is confusing me. Let's go up to the workshop up there and see if there was any in the workshop. And let's also see if we can get some black titanium from that uh, excavator belt. Oh, we can't. Can we build? Okay. 
Level up, Ox. Okay, in a minute. Your ignition cores were being used to craft cores. I don't know. They were not in my inventory, so I'm not sure how that's possible. Oh! That's what the glitch was. Oh, I see. Well, it doesn't look like I can uh, interact with any of this. I mean, a quest item, at least for a quest that you're currently on, shouldn't be scrappable and consumable in your inventory. That just seems weird to me. Well, someone said I could get some black titanium here, but I guess not. All right, let's move on to the next thing. We can come back. Let's now. I want to open the miner's locker at Kerbird Mine, but I also want to explore Hornwright Industrial. Let's go there. Charleston Train Yard, Aviar Medical. Maybe you could get the titanium when you restarted the machine. Yeah, that's what I'm betting. Um, but we got to get the get that last ignition core first. So let's go hunt for some nuclear material while we achieve other goals. And then come back. Charleston Train Yard, Charleston Station. Necrogen says, you missed my super chat. I was telling you, make your Pip-Boy non-transparent fix my holotape issue. Uh, well, that's a good tip, but sometimes I'm in power armor, like I am right now. And you can't look at your pip boy in power armor, so. Okay, there, no, if we go north, there's a train station up here where I can deposit my ignition cores so that I don't accidentally scrap them. Because I'm betting I could do that, which I don't really want to do. So let's go deposit them. Briefing taxes, corpse pile. Uh, well, thank you. And then we'll go to Hornwright Industrial. It was good to see one of their machines in action. One of the machines that we heard so much about. Ox, hunt the mole miners that drop the miner outfit. Scrap that has black titanium. Yeah. That's how I picked up uh, about 15 pieces. Someone has a little hut. I also need screws. Okay, let's deposit our... Let's just store all junk. And then, oh, we're, how did that happen? Must be, what junk did I? Let's take some of this bulk and sell it. Yeah, black titanium scrap, I have 24 now. And my ignition cores. Oh, 
right here. Let's put those in there so that we don't have to worry about that. Let's try and sell some of our If pulp. you have supplies to trade, I can be of service. Bulk lead. And that's it. Sweet. Ammunition and other supplies available here. Universe says while in workshop crafting ties while in a workshop crafting ties into workshop supplies. Right, crafting it outside the workshop. This will use your mats and not the limited workshops. Uh Well I didn't I don't have it. Like this is my stash. Let's go to junk. I've got one nuclear waste. Which is, which is exactly what we found when we tried to craft one at a tinkerer's workbench, right? Uh, also, let's take a look at my screws because that's one of the major things I was missing to create the uh, excavator armor. Let's go to junk. Loose screws, I've got 36, great. Well, was it springs? It may have been springs, and if it's springs, then I'm low. Anyway, now that we're here, let's go to Hornwright Industrial, where I'm sure we're going to get a lot of screws, springs, maybe even some black titanium, and hopefully some nuclear material. And if we do, we can go and finish the excavator quest and then go back to Garam Industries and create our excavator power armor. Oh, everyone is saying radio in the chat. Did a radio stop by and I didn't hear it? I heard static. If it's just static, it doesn't matter. Oh, right over here. Uh, is it on the other side of this road? Oh look, we got a little alleyway over here. Ooh, I think that's it. Oh, I love exploring urban sprawl like this. Look at this. Hornwright Industrial, the one standing skyscraper. Man, learning about pre-war histories of companies before the war is some of my favorite lore. I should have repaired my shotgun, dang it. And I should have scrapped the other shotguns that, I, that I'm carrying. That's okay, maybe we'll find something. Ooh, look at this. This building has fallen against it. Oh, how cool is that? Well, let's go through the main door. All right, this is our miscellaneous quest. Explore Hornwright Industrial. Let's stop tracking the other ones so we're not just completely overborn with quest logs. Oh, we'll definitely go up there. Back when you were at that building, hope that doesn't give you a strike, fam. Well, I hope not. Too. Oh, that's... Hey, it's Mass Fusion! <laughs> Looks like it anyway. Welcome, new member, Dick Gonzaya. Pleasure to have you on the program. All right, looks like we need to scale this skyscraper. Let's start down here. 45 ammunition, that's what I need. Ooh, and a dead super mutant. Something happened down here. So, Hornwright Industrial, we've got these Protectrons. They were all about automation. And a bunch of dead super mutants down here. Does that mean FEV? Dead scientist, elevator. Hornwright Industrial Executive Floor Activate. I think we'll need a key card for that. So, let's... Go check out the terminal. Left. Dang it. What? <laughs> yeah! Sorry, pardon me, sneezing. There's one thing you never discovered in Fallout 4. It's at Fort Hagen on the terminal. Good luck finding it. It's well hidden. Good luck. Okay. Thank you very much, Re Wrecking Retro. 
loose screws. Oh, are they just going crazy up there? All right, before we get locked in that terminal, let's go over here and see if we can clear it of anything. Ooh. Company archives. Search. So they are coming down the stairs, but at least they can't find me. All right, let's search the archives. We got a dead lady here. Blasted out terminal. Dead guy here. I wonder what this was. I wonder if people were coming in for jobs. Archival terminal. <clears throat> Hornwright Industrial Company Archives. Warning file corruption detected. Operational database, human resource database, or marketing database. Error. Human resource password required. Warning, corrupt, corruption detected. Okay, operation database. Error. Okay, so they all, the marketing database just comes back here. Okay, so we need to find a password. We'll look for that. <clears throat> but I bet we gotta go upstairs. Take a rad X because we have more than enough to spare. Or a rat away. Let's eat something. And drink something. Chug on a Nuka Cola, Nuka Cherry. Um, glows fung glowing fungus soup. There we go. I don't want that to go bad. Canned meat stew. Feeling good. <laughs> So there's a platform over there. That's where they came down the steps. Well, uh, let's go check out this front terminal now. Fragmentation mine. No good stuff here. Yeah. What? Where did this guy come from? What? Just to respond, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. A uh, Hornwright Industrial Yvette Wiseman admin company memo ten three seventy seven. Attention all employees due to safety concerns related to the recent unrest centered around the town of Welch. Our offices will be closed tomorrow. Employees will be expected on site at start of business Tuesday, October fifth. Jacob Hanover, Human Resources Director. Disclaimer, Hornwright Industrial will not be held liable for any injuries you may sustain while attempting to access the office. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, jerks. 10177, so we're going back in time. Dear, dear Hornwright Industrial employees, effective immediately access to our R&D and executive offices will require a key card. If you need to access those areas, please speak to your managing senior executive. As well, from this point forward, all employees will be required to sign non-disclosure agreements. Any members of the organization speaking to the press or any outside parties about proprietary information will be disciplined. We run a tight ship around here, any leaks, and we all will sink together. Jacob Hanover. Archive messages. 927. 
It's a tough decision, Annie. I need to think it over some more before I decide. Looks like that's in response to the next message. Uh, it's up to you, admin. It's, it's up to you, darling. You can either come with me or you can keep chipping away at your soul in exchange for a couple pieces of silver each week. All I know is that the miners at Hornwrights kicked, were kicked to the curb with those robotic scabs. Had They had families, and I won't be part of making them starve. Yes, we learned all about this at Garam Mining. Mrs. Hornwright, that reporter was here again this morning asking about the mother load. Mentioned something about toxic dump sites. I told him I had no idea what he was talking about, like you told me, but I got the sense he didn't buy it. Is there something else I should have said? And not to bother you too much, but I haven't heard a peep from HR about taking over Annie's position. You haven't heard anything, have you, Penny? Yvette. Hi, Mrs. Horner. I just wanted to check in. I saw your car outside, so I presume everything was all right for you and your dad down in Bramwell. I heard the rioters brought down one of the high-rise mansions. I was terrified it might have been yours. Oh, man. They bought her out. They had some of those foul-mouthed Mr. Gutsy things patrolling our block in Charleston yesterday and today. But when I came outside today, they were whining about getting to see, not getting to see any action. So I'm guessing the rioters kept to the south. And is there really still fighting going on at the dig site at Mount Blair and down in Welch? Seems like this, the crazy is spreading like wildfires, you bet. So, search Penny's office for info about the mother load. Quest started. The mother load. Well, we are all about mining, aren't we? <laughs> now, for those asking me to collect these petrified corpses, you can't. I, I tried to show that a couple of times, but you can't. So. I'll show you again when I find another one. Here's one. Search. Nothing. Oh, that goes back outside. Ah. Yeah, man, I don't know how many times I have to say it. I, you can't loot the, the Ash Corpse things. I mean, I've, sh I've showed that like three or four times in this broadcast. Fumbulas says, love your videos. I use an ad blocker here. Uh, so here's a little something back. Well, thank you very much. That's very kind. Fix your combat shotgun. Yeah, <clears throat> I will as soon as I get to a, a weapons workbench. All right, let's try another one. Looks like this one respawned. Got a little money. Looks like we got two as Ooh! The super mutants were <coughs> nomin on those guys. <coughs> Blood bug proboscis. More dead super mutants. I wonder what that means. Actually, before I go up, let's finish exploring over here. And that's it, that just brings me up there. Okay, so let's head up here. Then we'll find her office. Oh, just a foot and a hand sticking out, man. So something tore up these super mutants here. Oh. So that just keeps going. Oh, they're only level one scorched. Ryan says, I love your content, man. I always watch. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Good 
Being level one scorched, I'm not really frightened <laughs> anymore. Technology Support Department. Hey, exactly what I need. Sometimes I wonder if they give you ammo and terminals based on the weapons you've currently got equipped. Because I, I have... <laughs> or maybe it's just because I'm looking for it. Hey, an alarm clock. More nuclear material. At least I thought there was nuclear material in an alarm clock. Senior Executive Exam Answer Key. Oh, they were cheating. The senior executives were cheating on the exams to keep their jobs. Question one, blame the incident on agitators on the local unions. Question two, blackmail them into providing more information or three, send it to the media using the fallout to short their stock. Question three, dig up dirt on the politician to lower their price. Question four, offer them lucrative jobs to get them to reveal their identities. Oh man. Devilish. Terminal, Jeffrey Vaccaro. S-E-A-L-E-D. S-E-A-L-E-D. All right. Ramara. R-O-M-A-R-A. 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 Jeffrey Vaccaro. Company memo. 10-3. Oh, this is the same one. Okay, so I've read the company memos. Let's read this fellow's archived messages. So he was tech support. The senior exam, exec is exam has been up updated. Sorry for the delay. Jeffrey, our options don't really matter here. This is what Mr. Hornwright says he wants, so this is what we implement. You don't like the content of the exam, you're welcome to take it up with Hornwright. Attached, the senior executive exam answer key. But his wasn't the one we wanted. Love the sound effects they make when they go bust. Let's see, have we looted any nuclear material yet? Nope. Huh, I totally thought that the clock said some. I guess not. Oh, let's grab some of the guns I'm carrying. I don't need. Raider Corpse. So we're finding everything here. Raiders, super mutants, and scorched. The scorched are the only ones left, which means they came later. I'm betting the super mutants killed the raiders, and the scorched killed the super mutants. this door. Can we get in over here? We can indeed. I'll take that glue. Ooh. Lots of meat. Oh, and a skull. wonder what that was. Like an executive. Oh, man. Oh, no. Was this the super mutants? <laughs> Or did the Hornwright employees go cannibal? Kristen says, hey Ox, love your channel, love your content. Big fan from India. Well, thank you so much. All right, hold on a second. Fumbluz says, loves your... Oh, I, I read your, your comment already. Thank you, Fumbluz. All right, uh, Obscene Prophet timeout. There we go. Just played an ad. Not everyone will see it. Come on, just got a text. Uh, 
Okay. I'm right, moving on. Let's see. We... Okay, so there's a door over here. Just standing in the corner, picking your nose. The caliber round. I may need that ammunition later. I may regret not looting it now, but, you know, it's just so heavy, and I had so much of it. Dangles the Moon Monkey. He has nuclear material, doesn't he? Oh, I can level up. That's right. Okay. What level am I now? Let's see. I think I'm level 29. Is it going to tell me which level I'm at? Run or be found. I'm level 28. So... So I need to pick my level 28, which is Sniper 1. I think I did that. <gasps> Let's do Sniper 2 again, then. I believe that was Perception, Sniper 1. So let's go to... Sniper! Yep, that's right. Thanks for the reminder. Okay, and this puts me out the other side. Is there anything over here? Nope. All right. Hmm. And that goes up. Okay, before we go up even further, let's check out these doors. What is this? Hiring system terminal. Senior executive hiring exam. Error invalid credentials. Oh! Okay. And they're all senior e executive. Well, we found the answers. Now we just need to get the credentials to take the exam. Resume receptacle. So we don't have the credentials yet. Filing status. Mr. Hanover, I got almost all of HR's files added to the archival systems downstairs, but with the stuff they're saying on the radio, I don't think I can stay any longer. I'm sorry for leaving early, and I hope it won't affect my review, but I need to make sure my mom and dad are all right. Sorry, Mr. Hanover. Greg. Senior executive exam updates. Hanover, this is Daniel Hornwright. I presume you've seen to it that the technology support group has updated the senior executive exam with my clarified answers. I'm growing weary of the spineless executives you've been sending me. You find me some candidates with the wherewithal to survive here, or else I'll find someone who will. Brutal. But look at this, an ID card printer. Invalid user. All right, so... We need to get access to the ID card printer to get the ID card to take the exam, for which we have the answers. Goes upstairs. There was also that other way. And then also. <gasps> okay, let's try going this back way. Oh! 
Ooh, what is this? A labyrinth behind the walls, okay. Well, let's explore this floor first. Oh, something bad happened to these guys. Maybe the super mutants got so hungry that they began to eat their own. Yep, that's the stairwell that goes back down. We could continue up that way. <laughs> Where'd you go? Aha! Just the terminal we need. Is that a crossbow bolt? I can't loot it. Terminal, pin up. Ah. Terminal Penelope Horn, right? I hope that's not her. Baby says you've taken my donation. Feel special. Well, thank you very much, baby. Current user Penelope Horn, ride. Priority appointment, uh, appointment, lunch at 12, archive ah! missions. 9.30. Yvette, you did exactly right with that reporter. Until my father says otherwise, company line is none of us know anything about the Motherlode project. Which is, which is, close, which is closer to the, the, to the truth than I'd like. But do me a favor, pop an R&D and tell him ah! what the reporter told you. You should know what people are saying out there about this, this project. You're gonna need my ID though, as dad has gone and restricted the top floor to senior executives only, keeping all the juicy stuff just for us. You're up there though, so you should probably pop into HR once you're done, get your ID updated. For your application, I'm sure it just got lost in the move to the automated hiring system. The current HR password is BBB Definistrative V7. Go resubmit your resume, and I'll make sure it gets moved to the top of the pile for Annie's job. Okay, so we've got the code to submit our resume, I believe. Gregory, come by my office as soon as you get in. It sounds like the shaking last night. It revealed some kind of vein down in Welch. We need to see if we can't get our hands on the mineral rights before anyone else does. Penny. Looks like we need to explore Welch. I'm sorry, Dad. Greg and I tried to get down to Welch as fast as we could, but AMS was already on site by the time we got there. <laughs> Sounds like it's residuals from their old blast tests in the area, peeking up under people's homes. Knowing how AMS works, I'm sure they'll make a mess of recovery. So, if you manage to pull yourself away from your project long enough to read this, at least know that we tried. Penny. Dad, if you're reading these at all anymore, I really need your help right now. I don't know what the hell AMS did in Welch over this new claim, but they screwed up bad. The town is an open revolt, and from what I'm hearing, it's turning into a full-on riot. They're trashing anything with a mining company name in it. The governor's already started mobilizing the National Guard, and I've put out to get some independent contractors over to Mount Blair and a couple of your experimental sites. I know you're still hurting over Mom, but I think everyone would really appreciate hearing from you, so please help me out here. Greg, I spoke to the various site managers last night. We haven't been able to regain access to the Rockhound yet, but they've left all the others. Initial estimates for the damage are in the tens of millions, and there's still some rioters preventing us from being able to get back into the digger. I need all the execs in the conference room today. If we get stuck with this bill, that's it. Show's over. These riots are on EMS. We just need to make sure a judge agrees. Ha! Huh. So were the riots real, or were they staged by a competing firm? Greg, National Guard finally cleared out the last of the rebels off of Rockhound. The damage was so much less bad than we expected. In no small part because it seems those idiots couldn't sort out how the ignition reactors worked. The little blessings of proprietary technology. I want crews working in 24-hour shifts until that site's fully operational again. Every day it's down, we're hemorrhaging money. Penny. Well, we read about that. 
Back at the terminal. Back at that site. Okay, now we need to go downstairs, but first let's check out this lab terminal. Priority appointment again, log notes 610. Finally got to look at some blueprints for Garen's excavator power armor that our security department acquired. God, what a mess, a black titanium coffin effectively. Tough, sure, but some of the shortcuts their lab boys took to get this hunk of junk moving are laughable. I can't believe they think that this is the future of mining. They're so dead set on leaving the automation out, for the pro out of the process that they forget how error-prone this pile of scrap is going to be. Well, that's what you get when you work in conjunction with the military. One step forward, two steps back. Oh, we're, at, we're getting a little bit more color, so maybe uh, the Graham guys weren't the best guys after all. Helped Don Mobley, our lead tech over at Hornwrights Industrial with the specs for the Rockhounds upgrade. He's having problems with power drain on the ignition cords at 200 and... Okay, so we read about this back at the terminal. So I told him to dial it down to 1750. Alex says, hey Alex, glad to see you again. I've been watching a YouTube fight between a flat earther and a guy trying to disprove him while you were gone. Well, that's always fun. It's like watching paint dry. And see where that gets us. I figured that at that rate, maybe you'd get one hour per core. That should let the Rockhound run much more efficiently. No need to overtax the old girl. The auto miners built in conjunction with AMS seem to be doing their job, so my father moved me to the new top secret project he has cooked up with the Clear Skies Alliance. They've come up with some sort of an air scrubber that pulls particulates out of the atmosphere and exchanges it with pure air. However, after pouring over the plans, no idea why the Alliance is so trusting, but that's their loss, I'm thinking we could actually use these things to our advantage. Instead of just filtering air, I'm certain we could use them to pull heavy metals out of the air and extract them down to their base elements. I'm going to run this by the team in the morning, but I'm pretty sure my calculations are correct. So AMS were the good guys. It was these guys who were the bad guys. Interesting. All right, activating the printer doesn't do anything. We need to go downstairs and use the code to do the resume. But first, let's scrap as much junk we have on our inventory, and we can. Knowing that our induction cores, or whatever they're called, are back at camp, so we don't have to worry about scrapping those accidentally. Let's look for more nuclear material. Come on, guys. What? Are they respawning? Is that what's going on? Yep. Moldy food is back. Everyone's favorite. So we need to go downstairs, but I want to keep going up for now just to finish exploring. This is that one room we came in at. Go behind the walls here. Is this like a secret office? Hey, glowing fungus. So cleaner. Hey, key. Hornwright HQ. Can't find key to Mr. Vargas's safe. Oh. It's not the key we were looking for. We came here for the key to uh, to that executive suite.
All right, so it looks like we need to go up using the stairs because that was a dead end. So heading upstairs. To floor number five, what have we got? Even more above us, that's what we got. <laughs> oh, big place. So that goes outside. I'll <laughs> consider going there in a minute. What? Well, how do we get up there? We gotta go outside, I bet. That was the la that was the uh, secret office that we found through the back entrance. That's the stairway we came out. I bet you there's a staircase outside. Or we need to go back down and use the executive elevator. We'll find out. A handheld catapult might not sound like an effective infantry weapon, but if that catapult launches a miniature nuclear, bo nuclear bomb, now you're talking. I believe he's describing a fat man, I guess. Oh! Oh, this just leads out. This leads out to that ruined building. Okay. So we'll come out here when we leave. Or maybe we'll come out there when we leave. Maybe there's a door out there. Either way, let's go back in. So, let's go back down to, I believe it was the third floor. Use the password we got on that terminal to submit our resume. Then we'll pass the quiz, which is going to give us the executive ID badge that we can then use to take the elevator all the way to the top. You see how that works? It's science. Okay. Oh, this. Password accepted. Welcome, applicant, to the Hornwright Industrial Hiring System. Please insert your resume into the receptacle for analysis. Or take our senior executive exam to see if you've got what it takes to be part of the Hornwright team. Or, I see. Now let's remember what the answers were. Hanover, this is... Senior executive, exam answer key. Two, two, one, two, one. Two, two, one, two, one, okay. Welcome, prospective applicant, to the opportunity of a lifetime. The exam before you will show us whether or not you've got the chops to join the elite group known as the Hornwright Industrial Senior Executives. Achieve a perfect score and our automated hiring system will issue you an offer on the spot. So are you ready to take the exam that will change your life? Begin exam. An accident has occurred at one of the company's automated mines, resulting in the deaths of multiple mine bosses. What's your response? Release a statement promising compensation to the families. Blame the incident on agitators in the local unions. Launch a company-wide worker safety program. Ah, uh, two. <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> You've come into possession of damning proprietary information from one of our competitors. What do you do with it? Destroy it. We can beat them fairly in the marketplace. Blackmail them into providing more information or send it to the media using the fallout to short their stock. Either of these will work. Number three, a local politician has come to you requesting a sizable campaign donation in return for preferential legislation. How do you respond? Dig up dirt on the politician to lower their price, politely refuse citing the politician's disrespect for democracy, or reveal the request to the public, exposing the politician's corruption. One. In the next one, you've received threats from a group upset with our automation policy. What do you do? Give the evidence to the police, allowing them to deal with it. Offer them lucrative jobs to get them to reveal their identities. Request a 24-hour security detail to protect yourself. So it was two, two, one, two, one. Wow, so they offered jobs just to get their identities? <laughs> Devilish. 
You've been offered a higher paying position at a local regional competitor. What do you do? Turn over the details to Hornwright's top-notch corporate intelligence team. Take the position despite the company's almost certain inferiority, or leverage the offer into a higher paying position here. And the final one was one. Exam complete. Do you wish to submit your answers for processing? Process. Results processed. Your results. Congratulations. Complete. It looks like you've got what it takes to be our next senior executive. Please proceed to the Human Resources Office to collect your official Hornwright Executive ID. Okay, so we've got to go to the Hornwright, to the HR, uh, to collect the ID. Let's do it. And we can print it from this bad boy here. Senior Executive Detective. ID card issued. Now, we can head all the way down and take the elevator to the top. Looks like we've got a couple of paths blocked off on either direction. We also need to get that key card. See if we can go there and see if we can find a way into there. Oh, Bags even up here. How did the super mutants get up here? That's what I want to know. We had to go through this huge process. Uh, okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh, we chose one and take a look at this. What have we got here? Copper ore, lead ore. Don't really need any of that. I hope we can find some uranium ore. <laughs> Could use that. Dispenser, what's this? Nope, not what we need. Liquid nitrogen dispenser, makeshift battery. Iron ore. Vladimir says, these pre-war companies are so evil, I begin to sympathize with the Chinese communists. I know, but we learned from Mama Dolce is that the Chinese were, were just as evil. External connection system. User detected. Connecting. User connection detected. Mother 003 reporting. User system 003 requests assistance. Fuel levels. Critical. Hull. Critical. This mother load requires repair beacon. User. Recover. Repair beacon. User. Recover. Repair. Beacon. Whoa. Whoa. Search the lab for information on where to find a repair beacon. Quest started. Event defend map. Oh, I have to go all the way back. I'm gonna lose my settlement. Hmm. 
Unless I hurry. Iron ore. Research terminal. Research notation. Current user, Jose Brigada, AMS Hire. Hornwright introduced us our latest team member, a poach from AMS, Electronic Intelligence Division. The future of mining as we know it were Hornwright's exact words when introducing the young woman. The child has one PhD from a state school. Let's not leap to conclusions, Daniel. But extra hands are extra hands, I suppose. Perhaps this Miss Jackson can make us coffee. Ooh. The curious case of Miss Jackson. In the four weeks since she's been here, young Mrs. Jackson has managed to complete three of our outstanding research quandaries on the Motherload Project. Three, intramineral communication solved, subcrustial navigation, child's play, and automated voice response system, why not? The child even designed an infield repair system, modeled off my original mother load design, of course, but, in cap but capable of connecting with the system without work interruption. The child is either a genius or a thief, simply bringing us what she, what she happened to write down during her time at AMS, and I can hardly tell if I need to beg Hornwright to fire her or put her up for a, no for a Nobel, but I must say I'm intrigued by the curious Miss Jackson, and damn it all, her coffee is sublime, they still made her make coffee. It seems Mr. Hornwright has decided to involve himself more directly in the Motherload Project for security purposes, he claims. It is his belief one of us tipped off the reporter who had the accident on the test site, and he wants to ensure no such thing happens again. It is my belief that Daniel is looking for any distraction so he can avoid dealing with his loss. Oh, so his wife died. So I guess this means he'll simply distract himself by distracting all of us. Power struggles. And things had been going so well. Thanks in no small part to Miss Jackson's monumental efforts. System 000 and 001 had been prepped and ready to deploy, and we were staring down the barrel of upping our timetable by an entire quarter. Senior executive detected. ID card issued. We've now easily lost that and more thanks to Daniel's constant input, inconsequential and incessant Senior demands. Are you having a nice day? Whoa. Bug there, exiting event retake alias attack location. Inconsequential and incessant demands almost always lobbed at Mrs. Jackson and the intelligence team to make things more user-friendly, to provide with the systems more independence. The poor girl is being run ragged trying to keep up. I've been trying to step in as much as I can, just let the girl work, but the man will not relent. To make things worse, Daniel has begun, begun requiring us to go through him to get our requisition codes, making sure we can't make changes without his sanction. I did manage to sneak at least one out of his notes while being excoriated for my unrequested interventions. It's the small victories. Repair beacon requisition code 369984. For Mrs. Jackson. Mrs. Jackson, if you're reading this, congrats, congratulations on your promotion to project lead. No one deserves it more than you. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Get out now. I don't believe Mr. Hornwright as well. His paranoia and, insul and insularity have only worsened over the past months. My firing is no surprise given his growing enmity towards anything but his motherload project. I can only plead that you quit before the man snaps. Your talent is wasted in situations such as this. Okay, well we have the repair beacon. Now we need to find the beacon to repair it and go retake Mount Blair. <laughs> Three, six, nine, eight, four. Requisition code accepted. Issuing repair beacon. Okay. Collect the repair beacon. Beacon deployment clearance granted. User, proceed, down, deploy, beacon, proceed, elevator. Oh man, this is such a cool class. Waya says, I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real of you. <laughs> oh man, that was going through my head while I was reading that too. That's the thing. 
All right, deploy the repair beacon. Sweet. We're getting there, ladies and gents. We need to go down the elevator. But first, let's head over here because there is there was this. What have we here? I guess that's where we need to go to deploy the beacon. Or does that take us outside? Not sure, but let's head up here. Is this where we get the key to the penthouse? More super mutant bodies just piled. Were they experimenting with FEV here? Golf clubs, this must be Mr. Hornwright's office. Let's see. Sam Blackwell, no on measure eight. By Quinn Carter, the people of the Appalachian territories cannot sit idly by while their livelihoods are ripped away by metallic hands. These were the words of C Senator Samuel Blackwell coming out in a Herald interview as an authoritative voice against the controversial Ballot Measure 6. Measure 6, set to be voted on this upcoming November, would issue a $2.6 billion bond to begin the process of replacing all human workers in the Appalachian government with automated systems with the goal of complete automation by 2087. Among many in the region, however, it's come to be seen as a proxy war between local workers and the conglomerates such as Hornwright Industrial and Atomic Mining Services driving the shift away from traditional labor. In our interview, Senator Blackwell spoke frankly about the efforts he believed, in, uh, about the effect he believed Ballot Measure 6 would have on the citizens of Appalachia, a slow-moving disaster. It is our role as members of government to advocate for our constituents, what do the people of Appalachia get from Ballot Measure 6 other than pink slips and empty bellies? When asked for comment, Daniel Hornwright, CEO of Hornwright Industrial and a major proponent of the measure, stated, Senator Blackwell's professed interest in the welfare of Appalachia went out the window when he decided to start associating with separatists like the Free Staters. We have no additional comment. Ooh. Telling us that the Free States were a pre-war institution. Hey, Hornwright Estates access key card. Yes, now we can explore his home. Oh, I can't wait. CEO's terminal. Let's hack this bad boy. Stumbled. S T U M B L E D. S T U M B L E D. But it was only one. S T U M B L E D. S T U M B L E D. S T U M B L E D. S T U M B L E D, but that had an S on it. No, S T U M B L E D. S T U S. All right, let's make it easier for ourselves. Jamin says, apparently there's a secret bunker at Mama Dolce's which contains a map of all the missile silos. There's a key card to the bunker on the desk in the manager's office. Yeah, did you watch my lore video on it? I showed it all off. Finn Daddy says, oh, hey Oxman, love your work, especially at bedtime. Do you watch slash know any Fallout modders per session Alch Breach or anyone else? I, 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 I don't know any modders really well, but I have talked with a few of them. And, uh, I get, you know, I, I love what modders do. I spent a long time reviewing mods for Fallout 4 back in the day. And uh, those are all still up on my channel. Okay, tries reset. Bingo. Oh, lots of personal entries. Personal entry number one. vault has a saying, prepare for the future. I couldn't agree more. It's been a, mant a mantra I've been following ever since I took the reins of Hornwright. My father always thought the future of a company depended entirely upon its workforce. Your products are, are, are only as good as the people who build them, he'd say. My father had amazing foresight, but what he didn't have was the technology to make that workforce strong and reliable. That's why I'm going full throttle on every automated worker program we have. No more sick days, no more vacations, no more maternity leaves and sudden deaths in the family. 
We reduce the number of people we need to run this company, yet maintain the same output and quality control. Ryan Bailey says, you think they can retcon human NPCs later in the game? I don't know. We'll find out. The auto miner program is just the beginning. My ultimate goal is to fully automate Hornwright before 2100. If we can attain that achievement, we will no doubt be the strongest and wealthiest company this world has ever seen. Having dispensed with the day-to-day -day lugs that once populated our minds, I've initiated a series of pilot projects to see what other molecules of the human element we might banish from the mining process. The most promising comes, uh, the most promising comes, however, was dropped onto our lap by a friend of a friend with connections of, Depar uh, of the Department of Defense. Seems they've been working on a vertebrae, a vertical takeoff craft, which it seems can be outfitted for long-distance flight air-to-ground combat or reconnaissance. Our technicians believe they might be able to strap an auto miner brain and m mineral detection system onto one and speed up the pace of mineral surveying by a factor of 20. Promising indeed. Is this where we get the vertibot drones? Hornwright was approached by the Clear Skies Alliance a while ago, a proposal to co-own and project to co-own a project that would utilize scrubbers to remove harmful properties from the air and improve what they call an unhealthy living and working atmosphere in our region of Appalachia. My initial thought was to tell them that unless I could charge people for the clean air we generated, why would I waste precious resources on such a ridiculous venture? The PR it would generate would be decent, but we're talking development costs into the millions here. But then one of my R&D gurus took a good look at the plans and said that if the scrubbers could be repurposed, Instead of scrubbing the air, the tech could be used to ionize particles and convert them into usable minerals, perhaps even aerosolize minerals from our mines and collect them automatically. Marketing even came up with a snappy name, Ash Forges. Perfect. We'll have to keep this quiet, though. If the Clear Skies Alliance finds out about this, they're likely to try sla to slap an injunction on Hornwright to get their plans back. Shaft Elaine was overrun by protesters today, carrying signs like cudgels, fighting their way onto the site to express their right to assemble by trespassing on my land and shutting down my business. But this time was different. This time, the men who I gave cudgels to drive off such rebel put them down and walked off the job, joining the protest. At least the protesters are loyal to something. Penny was forced to scramble to bring in some independent contractors to restore order. I know she loathes such work, but I felt it was important she do it. She needs to be toughened up if she's ever going to take this position for herself. But lesson learned, I'd like to avoid putting her through anything like that again. Our work with Robco has already yielded plenty of fruit for the auto miners. I wonder if they'd be interested in another venture, something to prevent little Penny from having to hire more strike breakers. Jammin says you can eliminate the duds before making any attempts without resetting the tries. I mean, only if you know which one resets the tries, I'm assuming. As I sit at my terminal, I'm at a loss for words. How do I say goodbye to someone I've loved for so long? It's only been two days since my wife's death, and it still doesn't, doesn't seem real. All that money spent, all those doctors, it was all for nothing. I couldn't save Evelyn. And now the one thing I couldn't afford to lose is gone forever. I mean, just think about it. Knowing someone for years and years and suddenly in an instant the realization that you'll never hear their voice again. Never see them smile again. Never feel their embrace again. My daughter Penny says she's okay, that she's made peace with the matter, but inside I suspect that it's taken its toll. I wish I could get her to admit her true feelings to me, but her will is just too strong. I can't let this beat me. I must push forward. I have to complete the Motherlode project. If not for myself and my sanity, I'll do it for Evelyn. I'll prove to her that her death wasn't the end of me. It was just the beginning. So her death was all about him? In number seven, security tells me a stupid reporter named Bill Breyer hopped the fence to get a closer look at the Motherlode project. Idiot blundered in with his recorder in hand, holding it like a weapon. What the hell else were my men supposed to do? At least it was a clean shot and they took him down before he could draw too much attention. Hansen and the PR department said we should make a public statement to set the record straight, but I fired the moron on the spot. I'm not sure how we'll spin this, but I've sent a company directive to all managers that this incident is to only be referred to as an accident. I'll have to give it some thought. Reminds me of something that happened in Saudi Arabia and Embassy recently, but I'll, 
But I'm betting we can turn this out to our advantage. In retrospect, I'm almost glad this happened. Now no one else will be dumb enough to try and hop fences to get a look at our projects. And perhaps there's an, perhaps there's an opportunity here. Robotic security wouldn't have been so careless. Wow, he's going to automate even his security. I can't believe my staff is distracted by the minor, by the miners rioting. I don't know what they're worried about. Our headquarters is well protected here in Charleston, and we could always write off the rock hound as a loss. This is merely an annoyance and proof that we need to be fully automated sooner rather than rather than later. The motherload systems are performing at peak capacity and have completely exceeded our initial expectations. Soon, I'll only need a staff of under 20 to keep it in operation. Then those rioting miners can demand all they like since they'll no longer be employed at this company. Now who's laughing? Archive the messages. To Governor Evans. Governor Evans, I'm thrilled to hear that ballot measure, measure 6 will be taken up for referendum this November. Increasing the efficiency of the Appalachian government through automation will establish our territory as a national player for decades to come. Ah, so he was behind it or at least was a supporter of it, we at Hornwright Industrial want to be part of that. As you know, we have established ourselves as the experts at creating cost-effective automated systems. Our product line is constantly expanding and adapting, meaning we can develop custom-tailored solutions for your needs. There is no better partner for the automation of the Appalachian Territory government than Hornwright. Not to mention dealing with a local concern rather than... Uh, a national impersonal conglomerate like Robco will certainly help the pill go down easier with the local populace. Why don't you and the missus meet us for dinner to discuss? My wife Elaine has been dying to get to know the first wife more personally. Uh, is that a, was that a pun? Two. It's Daniel. I have a problem I need, and I need taken care of. Senator Samuel Blackwell. I need his voice quieted until the vote on ballot measure six has completed. I want you to scare him for us. No one is to be hurt. Just give him enough reason to disappear for a while. And while I'm sure this goes without saying, make sure this can't be traced back to us. Who did he send this to? It's blank. Impressive work, friend. <clears throat> your fee for the Blackwell job has been transferred to your account, plus a little bonus. I don't know what you said to him, but the fact that he's grasping at sinister government forces and not us means you said the right things. Whoa. I want to follow up on that trail. Okay, well, we got the key to his, <clears throat> to his palace, his mansion, his penthouse apartment, which means we can go back and explore that. I'm excited... To, uh, to do that. Now let's go deploy the beacon. Ryan says, I'm excited for lore videos on 76. I am too. Hold on one moment. Love your content, man. I always watch this, says Ryan Bailey. Thanks. I wanted to check that before it flew off the screen. Okay, so he just deployed it. We'll uh, kind of let him do his thing and then we'll deploy it ourselves. You see, he came in after me, but <laughs> I'm sitting here. Oh, that's so cool. I can't wait to do it. Uh, I'm sitting here reading all of the terminals, so he's way ahead of me now. 44, snub-nosed. Oh! I had to do it in third person! Remember when I was doing this on my live stream earlier? I had to do it in third person. No wonder it didn't work. That's so annoying. All this time I've been trying to do it in first person and it didn't work. Feral ghoul. Purified water, I'll take that. Loose screws. Hey, a weapons workbench, finally. What's this? Excavator suit, final steps. Classified, Mr. Hornwright, our efforts 
at shutting Garam Mining's excavator suit endeavor are nearly complete. Thanks to my team's interventions into the man versus machine comp competition, our auto miners are now the talk of the region, while the Garam stock price is in free fall. Now the final step from everything my advisors tell me, the tech behind the excavator suits is solid. They say their mineral detection technology borders on revolutionary. There's an impressive amount of proprietary technology inside those walls. A hostile takeover of Garam Mining is the savvy move right now. A fleet of automated, nigh indestructible auto miners armed with the capacity to independently seek out mineral wealth? That's the future, Danny Daniel. That's how we beat AMS at their own game. We just need to be bold enough to do it. I would suggest we move quickly on this. On, on this, Your motherload project will still be there once we establish ourselves as the premier industrial concern east of the Rockies. You say the word and I can have the board here within 24 hours to start talking strategy. I would also highly suggest you burn this document as soon as you've read it. Dutch Wharton, Senior Vice President, Corporate Engagement, Hornwright Industrial. They were planning a hostile takeover of Garam Industries. And what did they, did they cheat in the competition? We kind of got the impression that they sabotaged it. Okay, this is the motherload save. I wonder if we're going to get anything interesting inside. Skull. <laughs> they have a skull in the safe. Well, that's terrifying. Gold ore. Uh, I probably don't need it. Industrial truck. Not much I need. And then down here. All right, here's the big spectacle. Insert beacon. Beacon launch detected. Distance. 12 half meters, 800 meters, 400 meters, mother load, connection. Connection complete. Repair systems engaged. Mother load status nominal. Repeat status nominal. Initiating breach procedure. User, stand clear. Whoa, there it is. User presence detected. Priority materials deposited in docking station. Motherload 003 complete, user. Motherload complete. Motherload remembers. Whoa. What does she remember? Uh-oh. <laughs> Did we just awaken a self-aware AI <laughs> that can t tunnel underground? Oh, that's slightly scary. All right, what'd we get? What did we get? Copper, black titanium, yay. Ultracite scrap. All right, yes, I know I'm dehydrated. Come on, not the end of the world. I'm not gonna die. All right, let's eat something. Let's drop that. Royal grad stack, low on fungus. Yeah, not that, let's just see. Am I out of food? I think I'm, I've got the grilled grad stack, but I don't need it right now. Looks like I'm out of food. I should probably go get some food, huh? Well, let's get rid of some of our, no, we don't need to get rid of any of our rads. Okay, well. I wonder if we can break down, if there's a chemistry station, we can break down this ore. <clears throat> Did we pass a chemistry station up here? I think we might have. Ah, canned dog food. When needs must. Could have sworn there was a chemistry station here. Hmm. 
All right. Now, we completed this, and we got the key, but there are still quite a few things we need to do. Uh, I, I kind of want to go back and reclaim my Mount Blair thing. <laughs> and then we need to go check out that penthouse. Is there a chemistry station up here? No, but maybe over here. Adiop. Am I imagining things? I could have sworn there was one here. Yes! <sighs> Smelting lead scrap. I've got uranium ore, but not enough to break it down. Ah! I need one more uranium ore before I can break it down into nuclear waste, and <laughs> then I would have what I need. Uh. <sighs> Fix your shotgun. I did, didn't I? No, I didn't. You're right, I didn't fix my shotgun. Thank you for that. I'll go do that right now. For those asking for my computer specs, I have a link in the description below to my PC part picker list. Alright, combat shotgun. Let's repair this sucker. And then we can scrap the short double barrel shot. Oh, I'm carrying a missile launcher. What? That's a level 25 double barrel shotgun. It's 108 damage. This one is so fast though. Yeah, I think I'm done with the slow weapon. It's just way too slow. I'm not gonna modify my weapons because I need springs and screws for the um, Black the the mining power armor, so Okay, let's go back to shotgun and go to tactical armor piercing shotgun. <sighs> Can people steal power armor? No. Well not power armor that you currently own. If you drop a frame, I believe people can steal. It. But if you own a frame and you're working on it or you deploy it, I don't think people can steal it. All right. <coughs> what? <coughs> I'm low on food. I probably should get that meat. <laughs> Check. All right, let's go out the top because that looks like a lot of fun. Going out the top of the building.
Sorry about that. Hey. Who's got it? Who's got me? Coming upstairs? <laughs> Todd's at your door and says sampled medic. Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. I'm like, oh, who's knocking on my door? I don't recognize that voice. So I don't know if after exploring that entire building, I got <laughs> any nuclear material. But is that the Blade of Bastet? It is the Blade of Bastet. I have to say, back to the environmental storytelling of this game, I am really excited just to explore this skyscraper. <coughs> Ooh, and what do we got? A safe? Level up! Oh, yeah. I did just level up, didn't I? Okay, uh, so what am I now? Um, 29? I am level 29. So what did I want to do on 29? I wanted to... Four-leaf clover. One luck. Apartment building. It just tipped over and collapsed. Uh oh, I hear music. Ah, let's turn off the radio. Radio. Where's the radio? Blah, right there we go. Cooking station. Don't want to worry about that just yet. Man, what a cool structure. Totally crumbling over. I'm. It, this is impossible. By the way. There's no way a building built out of brick like this one would just be slightly tipping over. It would have crumbled. It looks cool. Five round. Keep up with that forty five caliber ammunition. Next time, fuck better. Single action. <coughs> I've regret. Hey. Laser gun, two shot, short barrel. Let's go through my plans. I think I have some that I need to learn. Then I can drop the ones I don't need. Where are my plans? There we go. Bathtub. Don't need it. Combat rifle. Sweet. Funny cabinets. Looks like I have that one. There we go. Any recipes? Nope. Whoa. Well, let's see if we can get up here. Oh no, we can't skirt around that. Doesn't look like there's anything over there anymore. Anyway.
getting weapon mods. I don't know if I should keep these or sell them. Okay, we could go down or out here. Let's explore out here. I'm going to stop searching these petrified corpses. I am getting nothing. Stealth boy, which has bogged me down with more carry weight. Such, this is so much more refreshing than my last stream where I was encumbered for almost the entire thing. Ooh. A hole out into the void. And then this is what? Raider Leadline Torso Mount. Gee, the, the mods are just drawn all over the place. Shotgun. Plan Acoustic Instruments. Plan flare gun. Oh, they're just giving everything to me right now. Oh, but there was another way over there. Well, let's see where this goes. Recipe sweet tato stew. Looks like I already knew that one. Oh. We go and then that's the way out and this leads to more of the urban sprawl but you know what I don't want to do that right now let's take a look at my junk let's look at component view no nuclear material so no point going back to our workshop yet which we have to take back by the way but I want to go to that camp, or to the tower. So let's go back to our camp and then head to the tower. The tower is, oh actually, the tower is closer. Let's go to the Hornwright Estate. This was a shot I got from the top of the other one. <clears throat> it's a top, it's a shot of the, the estate we're going to now, and it was really fun to explore. <clears throat> okay, so one of the things we noticed when we explored last time is all of this graffiti and wreckage out here. Look at this, block the bot, and we got a little bit more context uh, while exploring their corporate headquarters just now. Now, I'm going to crouch down here before going inside because I need to get some water. Uh, so this is a good enough time as any to stop the broadcast quickly and then start again. So remember I said earlier that uh, I wanted to split the broadcast up into um, uh, four hour chunks uh, so that it's easier for YouTube. I'm gonna go AFK for a little bit. Gonna go to the bathroom, get some water, open a window, uh, get ready to light a cigar. Then we'll turn off the broadcast for 60 seconds. I'll turn it back on and we'll go back to exploring the Hornwright Estates. So be right back.
Brandon. Also gonna have a little bit of scotch. Let's get our fan in the window. Let's pour, pour a small libation of the 12-year-old uh, Glenfiddich. Mouth is a little parched, you see. Gotta keep it hydrated. Okay, now we're gonna end the broadcast for 60 seconds, and then I'll be right back. Hang tight, don't go anywhere.